you're looking for the perfect firework night food, uh, Melise Berg is here with the answer, aren't you? I think so. I mean, I hope so. I hope you enjoy what I'm making for you. I'm looking at it is and it I'm feeling really quite hungry. Is it really spicy? That's all I want to know. No, and that's what I want to talk to you about. When I'm kind of making this today, you can add as little or as much spice as you want. And that's the beauty with dishes like this. I love spice. Um, but again, too much of it for me, I feel like sometimes detracts from the other flavours yeah. in the dish. Yeah, much spice is normally in Turkish or Cypriot, uh, uh, Turkish Cypriot cooking. I have to say, in Turkish Cypriot cuisine, it's there's not a lot of spice. It, it, warm spices, cinnamon, yeah. cumin, things like that. We love a bit of pulby bed. So that's what I'm going to add to the onions now. So I've softened some onions in some olive oil. And the finer you dice those onions, the easier it is for them to soften. Really? So much easier, as does a good pinch of salt. So when you're softening onions, if you add a pinch of salt, it really helps to break them down because I don't want big chunks of onion. I no. want the onions to caramelise yeah. and to really flavour. So I'm going to go in with that pool bed or those Turkish red pepper flakes, Aleppo pepper, if you're looking for it in the supermarket, and cumin. So they were the two spices that I mentioned. Lovely warm flavours. And again, if you're not great with spice, just put a little bit of the pool bed in or none at all. If you can't find that, is there a substitute they can use? Can they just use like a chilli flake or is that, not, is that not the same thing? You can use a chilli flake, absolutely. I'm all about finding what you've got and experimenting with flavours. Yeah, so what you, works with you. Absolutely. Um, but most supermarkets, I have to say, do have oh, wow. Aleppo pepper or pool bear now. So I've gone in with those spices and I'm going to add one of my favourite ingredients here and that is Tatla Biber Salt Chasa, which is Turkish sweet red pepper paste. And again, it's something that you can find in international supermarkets, Turkish supermarkets, some mainstream supermarkets. But if you get really stuck, get yourself some tomato puree and it's absolutely fine. Again, make it work for you. This recipe is about being accessible, easy, cheap, delicious, family friendly. So all of those things, use what you've got in your cupboard. I love this my spice. So Sorry, good. I'm yeah, We're I'm just, just talking. Into this and it's delicious. <laughs> oh, I'm so Well pleased done, that is so nice. And I want, and hopefully you can also see how easy it is. So now that I've added that Turkish sweet red pepper paste, I'm going straight in with the mince as well. Now I'm using beef mince. Again, you could use a meat-free mince if you like lamb mince, use lamb mince if you want Turkey mince, chicken mince, whatever it is, just use what your family like to eat. Add that. Use what you've got in your freezer as well. And this is another thing, actually. I'm happy. Talking about the freezer. And so she's so happy. Oh, I'm no, so I'm happy. You're happy. happy. I love burritos, but I, I was when, when I saw it on paper, I was like, oh, how's that going to work with the turkey? Like, would you cook with a lot of flatbread and, and that, that kind of thing in in, in in Cyprus? Absolutely. I mean, my great grandmother was famous in the local village for making all the pastries and the flatbreads and my mum, I grew up watching my mum do that. So yeah, if I was at home, I would be making the flatbreads oh. myself. Um, we call them bitta, so they're kind of flatbreads and, and like pitta, I guess, that kind of same word. So, you know, I would make them, but again, go to your supermarket, get some lovely flour tortillas or lavash bread if you've got an international supermarket near you. I know my son would love this. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, he'd absolutely Aiden adore this. this my yeah. kids love it too, and that's the thing about the spice, you know, add as much or as little as you want. Now, I'm going to keep browning that mince. While it browns, I'm just going to add in some black pepper. I don't put that in at the start, and dried mint, just because I don't want those two spices to burn. Um, so you want to break down the flavours of the mince into the pork bread and the cumin, but then add the black pepper and the dried mint slightly later on. Now, as that browns, I'm going to add some water to help reduce it down as well. And you could brown this on a higher heat so that it crisps up and caramelises a bit more. How should we cook that for? Can Honestly, it for a while? It depends on your cooker, on your pan. Sometimes these questions are like, how long is a piece of string? Yeah, you've just got to feel different. it, haven't you? Absolutely. But I would say until it's got that lovely brown colour to it, like this, then you can go in with some water, and that water needs to reduce down and sizzle. So I'm going to add that water to the pan. Not a lot, I think there's about 100 millilitres there. Turn the heat up, and while that sizzles and cooks down, we're just going to add some fresh party to it at the end. I'm going to show you how to make the Esme. I love cooking with mints, because it's so kind of forgiving when you're cooking yeah. it in the pan, isn't it? You know. Absolutely. Especially and the stuff with the higher fat content. Yeah, and, and listen, fat is flavour, but again, if you're following a special diet and you don't want to kind of use fatty mints, use what works for you. But what I want to turn our attention to now is this lovely... What is this? This is Esme. Now, esme. So it's a, a chilli sauce. Now, if you've been to restaurants or takeaways, you'll probably find this, and it's the chilli sauce that you have, and I'm adding some onions here. Now, in household in Turkey, mm. this will be hand chopped. Um, we ain't got time for that. We're going to use a food <laughs> processor. So, and, and it's really easy. It keeps really well in the fridge. Make it the day before it's easier. So onion, 
chopped tomatoes, again, tin of chopped tomatoes, not being fussy, another of my favourite ingredients. Nut extra, you see it, or pomegranate molasses, extra virgin olive oil, dried mint. Again, if you cook with dried mint, it tastes completely different than if you use it in salads and dressings. So it's sweeter when you cook with it. It has a different flavour if you just add it to dressings. More of that, that tartar bibel, so nice. salsa, and then we're going to go in it's with some fresh spicy. parsley. No, it's just a nice warmth to it, isn't fresh it? Fresh parsley. Chilli, again, as much or as little as you want. Garlic. I'm going to whiz it up, but I'm going to show you the finished product, obviously. More pulby bed. So the same ingredients in there I'm actually using in here. So you can, you're using the same ingredients, so it's yeah. not as many as you think. A pinch of salt for that sweetness and some salt. Pinch of salt, pinch of sugar, you know what I meant. Oh, uh -huh. Pinch of sugar. sugar for sweetness. And then pop it on, give it a little whiz. And the reason we use a food processor is because you get this lovely, chunky texture here. And now, obviously, I've got to show you how to roll it up. So, this is the burrito bit, and the favourite, my favourite bit to this, is this sour cream and grated halim or halloumi cheese wow. sauce. So, there's a pasta bake called Magarana Furunda in Cypriot cuisine. Yeah. And it has this lovely creamy halim bechamel, That's and that so is the good. base. So, we're going to add that to the base. It's all about having the right ingredients, isn't it? If you've got the it right really ingredients, is. it's going to be amazing. It really is, and all those flavours. We've got this mince going in. I'm going to get this. I'm huh? going to do this at home, yeah. without a doubt. And we've got... Kids would love it as well. Some cheese. Ooh, some cheese going in as well. This is the best bit as well, creating Outside, it. Outside, bonfire, up. Yeah. wrapped up. Well, you so can cheat easy them. dinner. I've got them warming in the oven, so you can cook them in the pan, yeah. which is what you do, basically. You pan fry them, pop them in the oven, a bit of cucumber, a bit of lettuce, a bit more cheese, nice and quick, bish, bash, bosh. I've got that other pan cooking. Roll it up, so tuck in the side, yeah. roll it up like so, That's and then nice. pop it straight in the pan. And you heat give it your up. pan a wipe, or if you like those flavours from the mince, because what I would do normally, obviously I've left this cooking, I would pour that out into a bowl, then pan fry this on a medium to low heat. Love the fact you cook it again. Yeah, yeah. well, you don't have to, it but up. it's a good way of keeping it warm. So while that pan fries, I'm just going to show you the ones in the oven, like you've got. That's pan frying on both so sides. Good. And then what we can do is you just, you just put them in there the, to keep them warm. Keep them warm, which is perfect. And then cutting straight through. You could actually do a vegetarian one where you leave out the meat, couldn't you? Yeah, Look yeah. at that. It Definitely. goes delicious. Oh, that's so And nice. cheesy and oozy and beautiful. So that, so when it's hot, so get your resume. Nice. Where's my resume? Get your resume. Esme. Load your resume on top. That. Love the the Do you find a version of this in a, Turkey, in a, a Cypriot Turkish restaurant? Or you just, find it just... in my house. <laughs> so this is. Why would you want to go to a restaurant if you come, you can come to, your to my house. house and we'll have Turkish Cypriot style burritos with esme? Oh. So you'll find things like gözleme or tantuni, which are flatbreads filled with lovely, delicious spices and meats. But this Melis Cook's Thank you so house, much for these. You're so welcome. Thank you. Awesome. That That's is great. delicious. I'm so Thank pleased you so much. enjoyed it. Uh, for all details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our chefs, just download the free This Morning app. Uh,